Beloveds, it brings me great joy to welcome you into this season of return when we celebrate in gatherings and come back to each other in our congregations and our communities writ large. For me personally, this is a time of return to our Unitarian Universalist Association, and I am humbled by your trust in me as your president. Thank you for the love and support you have shown me, not just during last year's presidential campaign, but during General Assembly in Pittsburgh. Thank you, you use. We are at the start of our shared ministry together, and we have been invited to consider a whole new way of visioning and resourcing our UUA. Our Commission on Institutional Change has invited us into a type of collaboration that we have not yet fully envisioned. This is work that I cannot do without you, certainly work that I cannot do without our remarkable UUA staff, and I am looking forward to all that we will accomplish together. Beloveds, this is a time to think about and reflect on the call of Unitarian Universalism in these days. Who are we meant to be collectively? And how do we care for one another along the way? In this coming year, once again, we get to lean into our shared values and talk about and discuss and chew on how we express those together as we come back to the next year of work on Article 2. More than just bylaws, however, it matters how we story ourselves into being. Those messages will guide us in our work to come. In this year, we are responding to the call of justice in our nation and around the globe. Beloveds, I know these are difficult times. I know that we are sometimes afraid. I know that we need one another, that there is strength in religious community, and that progressive religious community is called to be a counter-cultural response to what can seem like the inevitable outcome of society today. We believe in human goodness. It is a radical idea. Our liberal tradition guides us toward liberation because we become more free when we are in this work together, when we promote our values together, when we lead together. I want to invite you to sit with me in reflection on all that Unitarian Universalism is called to be in these days. How are you asked, how are you inspired to live your faith in the world? What does your congregation, this community, specialize in? Where is your mission most needed in the surrounding community? And how do we care for one another as we go? Loves, we are called to communal care like never before. We see this in this time when we are re-emerging from the quarantine stage of pandemic. And let me take a moment to say, wow, did we hold one another beautifully and well in these last years. Please let us not lose the lessons we learn about how to hold one another in care, how to protect the health of all, how to center the needs of those most vulnerable among us, so that community writ large continues. What have you learned in these recent years? How are you sharing those learnings with other you use and with other members of your community? This is the work of communal care as we steward this faith together. Beloveds, I am grateful for each and every one of you. As I said, I cannot do this work alone. This is work we do together. And I cannot do this remarkable ministry without your phenomenal UUA staff. I wanna ask you to treat your leaders, leaders of all kinds, religious professionals, lay leaders, elders, youth, 
emerging adults, all those who shape us in new ways. Hold your leaders with love. We are all tired. Much is asked of us, and there are wonderful things yet to come. Together, we will reimagine the workings and expressions of this faith, and we will hold on to the traditions and theologies and commitments that have made us who we are. This is beloved community. This is communal care in a season of return. I can't wait to continue this ministry with all of you. Be well, beloved.